Peggy 18. Saints Row doesn't bother with asking why, it just asks why not. There's some people who really love Saints Row 3, and there's some people who really love Saints Row 2. And they would go and they'd argue online which game was better, and Saints Row 4 is kind of our attempt to go and bring these people together into one big happy Saints Row family. Yep, I did that. What's up, it's Terry Crews. This is Saints Row 4 in the house. It takes just the same amount of effort as you would in a movie. So what's the situation look like out there? It's bad. Why do I have a feeling that's a big understatement? I think fans are going to be the most excited, obviously, about Johnny Gat. Johnny Gat is back. Now we're talking. It's almost a daily occurrence when uh, one of my followers on Twitter will ask me uh, what's happening with Johnny Gat, what's happening with Saints Row 4. It's a testament to how powerful this game is to the gaming community. We tried to do a little bit of a twist with Shandy. We have Saints Row 2 Shandy, who is obviously a much more laid back version of Shandy versus the more angry version of Shandy that you might have experienced in Saints Row the Third. The most memorable thing you ever did was get captured by your smoked out ex. That's not true. I'm sorry, and fucking half of Stillwater. Go team. I always thought you were just really friendly and hated pants. Someone gets it. You get to actually craft who that person is. Everything down from hair color, eye color, you know, height, body build, male, female, ethnicity, everything. There's no separation of gender in this game. You can be anything you want to be, and there's no difference in the way people interact with you. I know over the years you've heard this speech a bunch of times. Heard it. Bitch, I wrote it. We have a lot more surprises in store for fans. This is Saints Row fan service to uh, an nth degree, and I'm so fucking excited about it. Pretty much anything goes now. Saints Row, let's go. Woo!